Aiden Senkit is the founder of Felicis Ventures, um, a fund that has recently raised a $40 million institutional fund. Thanks Correct. for joining us at TechCrunch Thank you. TV. It's a pleasure to be here. So tell us about this new fund. It's a super angel fund. That's yes. how you've categorized it. Yes. What are you trying to buy here? <laughs> um, so we like to think of ourselves as a super angel fund because we feel super in this case is a little bit like the term alpha, like I mentioned to you before, alpha, leader of the pack. We like the, uh, the position we're in, um, being very active, um, and we feel that with this new round of money that we raise, now we can be more effective mm -hmm. and play a more meaningful, more important role in our company. Who are some of the investors in this fund? So the ones that we have uh, the permission to publicly mention, uh, Weather Gage Capital, Flag Capital, and these are, again, very respected institutional LPs as well as some really interesting individuals like Peter Thiel, who obviously is well known through Founders Fund and Clarium Capital, and Paul Buhai, who was the creator of Gmail, and Joshua Schachter, who uh, did Delicious and worked at yeah. Yahoo and Google as now, a key engineer. Aiden, you have a, a pretty comprehensive portfolio, about 60 or so companies over the last few years, 16 successful exits, and that includes you know, Mint, for example, and you're also an investor in Groupon. So a lot of consumer type of companies. What are you looking at today? What are some of the strategies you're trying to employ, and, and what are the sectors that you're really interested in? So we're fundamentally still looking mm -hmm. for seed and early stage consumer mm -hmm. internet and mobile companies. However, we'd like to think of important trends we think are likely to produce future winners. Mm -hmm. So right now we're thinking uh, in terms of three different groups. The first group is horizontally, we're trying to make more investments in mobile, e-commerce, and enterprise areas. Mm -hmm. Uh, we do think that these areas are kind of having uh, a very interesting uh, comeback and are likely to produce great companies. We're also investing in um, internet and mobile companies in four verticals that are huge markets, education, healthcare, personalized medicine, and energy conservation. Again, we're not looking for capital intensive companies in these sectors, but we're looking for internet and mobile applications that target particularly these huge markets mm -hmm. where we feel really large companies can be built. We also think of data as an important place. So there was an interesting quote this year in The Economist that said businesses are no longer about capital and labor, it's about capital, labor, and data. We're seeing a new generation of companies that turn data into intelligence and make that mm -hmm. actionable. Okay. We do feel that that's an important trend and companies that capture that are also getting a lot of yeah. traction as we observe and we're very excited to Pursue, pursue them. Now these are massive buckets when you talk about mobile mm -hmm. or commerce, mm -hmm. healthcare, mm -hmm. education. Mm -hmm. So maybe instead of talking about the fields you're looking at, what are your, some of your, your driving thoughts about where technology is going that is making you look at these particular areas? Sure, let me give you a few examples. Mm -hmm. Again, um, mobile is a good example. We feel that it is very similar to the early days of the internet, kind of the late 90s, early 2000s. We're seeing this huge growth in smartphones. We're seeing this huge growth in applications mm -hmm. on mobile phones. Uh, what we do think, though, is that the large mobile company of the future is not created yet. We think it's more likely that they will be using a subscription revenue model. Mm -hmm. It also will be in an area that people might not expect it today, but we think it might be really interesting tomorrow. For instance, think about, uh, we talked about healthcare, a healthcare portal where it's kind of using a mobile app as a way of people checking in in terms of their well-being, their diet, and their exercise habits, that could have a big impact on, their, uh, on how they feel and on critical ailments they might try to avoid. So we do think that this is a really interesting area. On education, we are very specific what we're mm -hmm. looking for. And you recently invested in Inkling. Inkling yeah. is mm -hmm. a great example. So we invested, uh, I've been very vocal about education 12, 18 months ago. We invested in Inkling last fall in an angel round. They just raised uh, a VC round that we participated in. We wanted to invest in a company that's going to redefine textbook. We mm -hmm. think is critical because it's not about just having a digital book reader. We feel it's about a company that's going to completely redesign book the way it's supposed to be, leverage in the classroom with students where you can have social interactive futures. We think that is extremely meaningful. I also think that any education company that is thinking long and hard about accreditation or mm -hmm. certification is going to play a big role because we feel that's going to be where the bulk of the monetization is yeah. going to occur. Um, finally, in healthcare, another good example is a company we've involved in, uh, Practice Fusion. Mm -hmm. So electronic health records, it seems like a crowded field until you look at the players and you see 
uh, 10 to 11 companies that are legacy yeah. software based and practice fusion being uh, cloud based mm -hmm. and internet based in an area where Obama has this great incentive yeah. for doctors to switch and there is a deadline to do so. I do think that people don't think creatively when it comes to future companies or what could be done. I don't think we've exhausted the potential yet. Mm -hmm.